This is Luke Oswald with Groove3. Welcome to the Easy Drummer 2 Advanced Tutorial Series. Now, when you open up Easy Drummer 2, this is what you see. Easy Drummer ships with two brand new libraries, and the drum kit that you are looking at right now is the Modern Library. If I go up to the upper right-hand corner, I have a drop-down menu much like I did in Easy Drummer 1, and these are the two libraries that come with Easy Drummer 2. It's the modern and the vintage. So those are the two libraries that come with Easy Drummer 2. Now we'll talk about this menu a bit more here in a moment, but for now let's start at the very top of the screen on the left hand side and move to the right. You can see that the Easy Drummer 2 interface is broken up into various tabs. We have the drums tab, which provides the behind the kit view much like you would see in Easy Drummer 1. We of course can click on any drum to audition an individual instrument. We can also use a MIDI controller of some kind, for example, a keyboard. And we have the same drop down menus that you had in the original Easy Drummer. However, if we open up those drop down menus by clicking on the arrow, the instrument properties panel is quite a bit different. Here, we can select any drum, in this case, the snare drum, contained in the Easy Drummer 2 Modern Library. So if I want a different drum, I can simply choose which drum I would like. I can audition each of these drums by clicking on any one in this list. I can audition by using the up and down arrows here, the bottom left hand portion of the properties window. And I can also use the velocity pad to audition not only the individual instrument itself, but the velocity range as well. Now within this window, I can change the individual pre-fader volume for any selected instrument, as well as the pitch. This is going to adjust the pre-fader volume and pitch for the entire instrument, including all individual articulations. Easy Drummer 2 does not allow you to adjust the volume and pitch of individual articulations independently. That function is reserved for Superior Drummer 2. In the upper right hand corner, you have the addition of new percussion pads within Easy Drummer 2, and these allow you to quickly add percussion elements into your drum track. Within each of these percussion pads, we have a drop down menu so that you can choose various elements. We have single and group claps, snaps, a cowbell, we have various shakers, and various tambourines. And within each of these percussion elements, you can also adjust the pre-fader volume and the pitch as well. If we move to the browser section, this is very much like the original Easy Drummer, where you have your parent MIDI library folder, which then will break down into various categories such as time signature, genre, tempo, and so on. And then, of course, you can audition any of the grooves within this browser window. You have a user MIDI section whose folder structure you can actually modify. So that way if you have your own MIDI or third party MIDI grooves, or you just want to remember MIDI grooves that you've found and put them in a place that you can easily use, you can create a number of MIDI folders for these occasions. 
simply right click on the user MIDI folder, say add folder, label it, and drag your MIDI groove into that folder. Now, just like with Easy Drummer 1, you can drag any MIDI groove into your DAW, or you can also drag it down into the drum track, which we have not yet talked about. Easy Drummer allows you to edit and manipulate the MIDI within the plugin itself, allowing you to create an entire drum part without the need for an external host. I can even record into the drum track or song track using an external controller. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.